Hey team, Patrick here. Following on from a video I made last week, in this lesson, I'll give you some simple drills to help you improve your overhead smash technique. This will make your move more powerful so you can spike the ball down over your opponent's head or even over the back fence. While at the same time committing less errors. I'll give you some drills that you can practice on your own or even off the tennis court. So let's get into it. My first drill is to have a practice partner or a coach feed you a high ball, a lob, and you have to catch the ball in the cone. This will help you with your setup, ability to track the ball in the air and get into the correct position. When you catch the ball, your arm should be extended like this. No cheating and catching the ball down here. This helps you keep your non-hitting arm up and check your setup position at the catch point. We should be sideways to our intended target with our racket in the trophy position. So it gives us this feedback that we can then use and blend into hitting our overheads as we're still going to imagine that we were gonna catch the ball and get into this same position. My next drill develops this pulling and snapping motion through the contact. So first tap a ball down with the edge of your racket, the frame of the racket, as you'll naturally pick the racket up in this continental grip, the hammer grip, chopper grip, whatever you want to call it, not a forehand grip anyway, that's gonna give us more of this pushing motion. Then you can progress to one with the edge of the racket, and one with the strings. Turning the racket over from your shoulder, your forearm and your wrist, so you come down on top of the ball. And once you get this feeling, spike the ball down into the court with your goal being to get some height with the strings flush to the top of the ball. So the ball should go straight up. and don't push the ball away from you. And this is the same drill that I use to get players to transition from a forehand pushing motion to a continental grip and pulling motion on the serve. Now you can take this feeling and play over the net. Choke up on the racket, get into your trophy position and get very close to the net as then you can really spike the ball down. You get to hit down on the ball and get it to land short on the other side and get it to bounce up high like this. Now run your hand down to the bottom of the grip, go around halfway up the service box and self-feed some balls, feeling this same snapping motion and release that we were feeling when we were choked up on the grip and closer to the net. Your goal should be to get the ball down into the service box and try and hit the back fence on the full after one bounce. Just ensure that you're not snapping your wrist, you're not just flexing your wrist forwards this way and it's still this pronation and turning out of the racket from the shoulder. A couple of more advanced drills you can practice with a partner are to alternate between one overhead and one volley. This is great for your movement at the net and closing the net back down after the overhead as too many players fear getting back up to the net as they worry that they're going to get lobbed. So this is very relevant to a point situation. Yeah. 
Also, a lot of players are very comfortable playing to the same side, but this gets very predictable. So you can have your opponent move their position and your goal is to play back to them at all times. So you're working on hitting to both sides of the court and tracking your opponent out the corner of your eye. Right team, there you have it. Some of my very best drills to work on the overhead. And practice this and you'll start to go from fearing your overhead to wanting overheads in a match, which should be the case. We should see it as a point finishing opportunity and not something to avoid. So I hope this video has helped. And if it has, please leave it a like and a comment down below and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you on court in the next one. Cheers, guys.